taking verbal jabs at Russia seems to be the in thing for NATO members in the run-up to this summit, which kicks off tomorrow. Now a group of American intelligence veterans has written a letter appealing for efforts to avoid a war of Ukraine, addressing it to German Chancellor Angela Merkel. One of its authors is William Binney, a former technical director with America's National Security Agency. Delighted to say he's with us now to tell us why he wrote that letter. Why are you so personally concerned? And moreover, why did you send it to Angela Merkel? Uh, well, uh, first of all, the, uh, <clears throat> we, we the, the members of the Veterans of Intelligence Professionals uh, for Sanity, uh, are concerned with our government making decisions based on faulty intelligence or basically on selected intelligence, like they did, for example, in the, to get us into the Vietnam War with the Tonkin Gulf or the weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. What we'd like to do is make sure that our, our, our government or any other government uh, would make decisions based on factual, reliable so, intelligence So what's your worry? What do you really think is happening? Uh, that's, a, that's a problem we've seen. Well, I think there's, a, there's a, of course, a struggle uh, inter internally in, in uh, Kiev, but, uh, and their influence is on both sides. So, I, I, you know, from our point of view, they need, to, they need to, and I agree with the president, that they need to diplomatically resolve this and stop and, and cease the conflict. You're talking about working on, on, on duff information to get, uh, to get something across, to get something done. What do you mean? What are you talking about there? What do you think America is trying to do here, then? What is its position? Well, we, we are just concerned that they might do something like they did with the Iraq in 2003, uh, when, <clears throat> for example, they, they trumped up the weapons of mass destruction. Everybody said, we know they have them, when in fact they didn't. And if they looked at the intelligence that was available at the time, they could clearly see that there was no conclusive evidence that they really had mm. weapons of mass destruction. So we just don't want that kind of scenario repeated. You're worried that's happening in Ukraine, yeah? Yes, I think there's a lot of uh, political uh, motives for doing different things. Uh, I mean, the military industrial complex will always make money on a war and we need to try to make sure we avoid that kind of thing. President Eisenhower warned us fundamentally of that in 1960. OK, um, a little bit earlier on today, Michael Fallon, UK Defence Secretary, spoke. He's all for expanding NATO. Of course, we're on the eve of that big NATO summit in Wales and the UK. Let's listen to what uh, Michael Fallon had to say just for a moment. Does Russian aggression in the Ukraine and its illegal annexation of the Crimea, coupled with increasing violence on NATO's eastern and southern borders, does that mean that NATO is finally coming home? Now, it's tempting, I think, and we should discuss this, to answer yes. Recent events have reminded us that we can't take security on our doorstep for granted. That's the UK Defence Secretary. What does it mean by finally coming home there? Uh, I'm not quite sure about that, but uh, I can clearly understand. I think we've said and uh, made try to make it clear in our in our letter that uh, you know we, we can understand how the the Russians might be a little un, uncertain and insecure about the expansion of NATO. Uh, so I guess if they if they are that insecure, we should invite them to join NATO too. That way, we'd all be a part of the same defensive group, and no one would be have a basis for fearing one another. William Binney? So I, you know, I don't understand why we can't have diplomatic conversations about that. William, thanks ever so much. Thanks for your thoughts. Uh, so we're going to cut it short there. We've got to, uh, some more people to chat to. We really appreciate it. Former technical director with America's National Security Agency, as you are there. Thanks for your time. Okay. Thank you.